What's going on YouTube? It's Giga here bringing you some more Series 12 Wi-Fi battles with live commentary. Today we are doing the VR tour. Um, it is huge. There's over 500 participants and I thought it would be fun to build and try out this new team. So um, as you can see, it is Palky and Necrozma. So the main idea is kind of taking a, a spin on that um, traditional uh, Zashi and Kyogre team, really to, to try and get some advantages that you don't have over that traditional core. Also, this is um, a dual weather, right? We do have sun as well as rain, which I'll talk about, and a dual speed mode where we have access to Trick Room and Tailwind. So I, like I said, don't wanna talk about it too, too much, mainly because I do still wanna make some changes and save something for um, the actual team video, but it is um, a very offensive Palkia, really able to hit hard. We do have Necrozma functioning under Trick Room uh, with that weakness policy. We have a Mimikyu to set up Trick Room as a second option, as well as proc the weakness policy and go for those really big Will-O-Wisps. We do have uh, Venusaur and Torkoal as part of the Sun Core, and also a nice, really good option for um, when we are in Trick Room. And finally, we do have Tornadus. Tornadus giving us that Tailwind option, that Brutal Swing to trigger the policy and Rain Dance. So we will have the pace in the description. Things might change, and we'll talk a little bit about the team later on, but I uh, just wanted to showcase it before we uh, hop into our first match. And so yeah, with that, let's just uh, get rocking and rolling and move into the first game. All right, so we are hopping into um, this battle. It is open team sheet, which is nice. So we do know a little bit about my opponent. Um, we know that they, we basically, yeah, we know all their Pokemon. It is uh, Turtonator, Rillaboom, Zacian, Kyogre, Grimmsnarl, and Zapdos. So my plan right now is to lead Palkia Necrozma with uh, Mimikyu and Torkoal. I think that makes sense. Venusaur, I mean, they don't have speed control. So at the same time, actually wait, oh, there's, a, there's Ashian does have play rough, which makes this a little risky. Otherwise, what I what I was gonna say is I could do is I could lead Torn, Torn with Palkia to try and KO. Um, there's Ashi in turn one. Um, I'm gonna stick with this. They don't have Roost on Zapdos, so that's nice. I think I think Trick Room is gonna be really big here, right? I think Trick Room, if we can set that up, would be ideal. If we see a Kyogre lead, right, we do have the option of switching out into Torkoal immediately to change the weather and then trying to put on pressure with Max Quake. Turtonator, like I said, is a little scary because of the fact that um, it can kind of set up, but it doesn't have Iron Defense. It is Burning Jealousy, Scorching Sands, Wide Guard, Body Press. We can't crit it, but at the same time, right, we do have... We have Palkia, which can hit it for super effective. We have Necrozma, which can hit it for super effective. And we have Torkoal, that can hit it for super effective. So three of our, our Pokemon can hit it um, very hard. And I'm really hoping that that uh, kind of pays off. I also need to take a second. I've been playing really, really quickly and making a lot of mistakes. So hoping to be better about that. We will see Grim Turtonator. Grim lead with Turtonator. Uh, Palkia with Necrozma here. I... So what? I feel like you're gonna go for a Burning Jealousy expecting me to max Quake. So I'm instead going to swap into Mimikyu and go for a uh, Sunsteel into Grimmsnarl. Just trying to say, hey, if you're gonna play this game, you're gonna proc my policy for me. Um, Turtonator lead with Grim lead. This is... Probably good for us. This lets me bring up Mimikyu. Um, I do want to see speeds. Grimmsnarl, yeah, is going to set up light screen. That's that's totally fine with me. It should be a burning jealousy, right? We are going to fire off a Sun Steel Strike. This should get the KO onto um, what's it called? Onto this Grimmsnarl. Yeah. Okay. Grimmsnarl dies to Sun Steel Strike. That's fine. It should, like I said, burning jealousy. Perfect. You're not gonna get a boost and you're gonna proc my policy. So now um, we do have to be a little bit weary of Zacian, right? Zacian obviously uh, has the ability to swap right in and KO Mimikyu, but we do have Torkoal in the back. So Torkoal, we're probably gonna see Zacian here. 
That's what I would expect. Um, Zacian, yeah, Zacian definitely a little scary. Kyogre also an option. We are going to see yeah, Kyogre in the back, and I'm guessing Zacian as well. So what we want to do is switch the weather. Switch the weather to sun. Um, and I am going to quake into Turtonator. Turtonator is safety goggles, right? My thought process with this is Palkia. Palkia isn't worried about Kyogre that much, um, especially if we set the sun, right? We can severely weaken whatever attack it's going to go for. And if you don't, if you don't max here, what am I saying? No, if you max, it's fine. Um, <clears throat> like I said, Palkia, Palkia handles Kyogre very well, especially because we know you're scarfed. We should see, okay, so we're going to see no max, which tells me probably a uh, water spout, which, right, because of, because of the change in terrain, I mean, not terrain, weather, we are going to be in a very advantageous position here, just being able to immediately uh, fire off some damage. And we should be able to get a KO onto this, um, what's it called? Oh, oh, is that Turtonator maxing? That could be Turtonator maxing. Yeah, okay. So we're gonna see a max Turtonator, which is interesting. Uh, it does have damage potential, so this is definitely a little scary. Um, we are, yeah, Water Spout gonna come out. Gonna, we are gonna live with that uh, slower than Trosma. So I'm not worried about Kyogre at this point. Um, this Quake hopefully will KO. I, I mean, I need it to KO Turtonator. Um, that is lives, lives, plus two Quake. Um, <clears throat> that's bad. That is very bad. That Quake should KO to Krasma. Uh, we might live. Oh, okay. That's, that's fine. Um, Kyogre is locked into Water Spout here. I would like to switch out into... Oh, I still have... Okay, perfect. I'm going to swap out into Palkia here and fire off uh, another Max Quake into Turtonator, right? I need to really sort of try and protect my options as much as possible. Um, we do have to worry about player up Zacian, but Kyogre, like I said, not really a, a threat at this point. Water Spout doing very little damage. Kyo or Palkia taking hardly anything. Quake gonna come out, finish and KO. Uh, Turtonator, so this means it should be just Zacian in the back. Zacian's still a little tricky. We can, what, we can try to set up Trick Room. I think if we set up Trick Room, we're in an ideal position. Uh, we are at plus two special defense at this point, so that is uh, really big for us. And right, we, we know that we're slower, so it should be Zacian, yeah. It is Zacian in the back as well. Trick Room. It's not over. Um, it really isn't at, at by any means. We oh, I'm still big. Uh, protect Palkia, Max Quake and Azashian. Okay, so I actually have a turn left, so I should be able to live um, a Sacred Sword. Water Spout should do pretty much nothing at this point, right? Yeah, we just need to live a Sacred Sword, 161, okay, perfect. And yeah, this Max Quake, Max Quake KOing, um, Zacian, perfect. This should, at this point, uh, be pretty much a wrap, right? So we led, what, Pokia Necrozma? Yeah, that's a, that's a solid lead. Um, we can now, at this point, just go for... Uh, whatever we want with Palkia, we can just go for a uh, Spatial Rend. I think it's important to see how much it can do, so I would very much like to Spatial Rend and go for a Protect here. They should cancel? Yeah, okay. They're gonna cancel. I'm gonna send over a quick GG. And we're moving to game two. So my question, right, is do I have a reason to change lead? I'm thinking about it. Um, 
I think I'm going to lead Mimikyu over um, Palkia. Yeah, let's lead Mimikyu over Palkia. Oh, wait, no, 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 sorry. We, we're good. I, yes, I can. I just am bad at this game. So we saw a lead of Turtonator Gripsnarl, so that was really passive. Um, Mimikyu, Mimikyu Necrozma with Palkia and Torkoal, right? This this lets me put on immediate pressure of turn one trick, turn one trick room with um, what's it called? Yeah, we have turn one trick room with a Will O Wisp onto the um, slot, <laughs> the English. We are, yeah, we can try and uh, burn into. I'm guessing Grimmsnarl. We have the advantage, right? That um, we have two Trick Rumors, so we can really put on some pressure with that to try and do some work and um, see if we can take that to our advantage. I think having what? I think this is a good lead. I don't expect to see the same thing. I expect to see maybe Zacian. Zacian wouldn't surprise me. As we do see, okay, Grim Kyogre. Grim lead with Kyogre lead. Um, protect Trick Room? Yeah, let's do that. Let's go for a uh, Trick Room here and a Protect with Necrozma. What that lets me do is that will um, let me shadow sneak and then go for a um, quake into Kyogre the subsequent turn to fire off a weakness policy. We will see uh, a water spout come out. Um, I think it is advantageous, right? There are no, uh, what is it called? There are no, I can't speak. What is the word I'm looking for? No intimidators, that's it, yes, okay. So uh, we set up the Trick Room. We do have to be a little weary because uh, Grimmsnarl does have Scary Face, but that shouldn't be an issue. We proc our policy and we Quake uh, immediately into Kyogre. This should do enough where we can start putting pressure onto um, Grimmsnarl. We do have Torkoal in the back. Torkoal obviously going to be really huge. Um, we do have to be a little bit weary though because of the fact that the Reflect Reflect is up and it is like Plague Grimmsnarl. So that definitely <clears throat> can be scary. But getting the plus two gonna be huge. If we should we should survive because of the fact that um, we will quake first and chip away at Kyogre's health significantly. Even if you go for a scary face, right? We are going to be faster. And then from there we have either the option of switching out in a Torkoal to change the weather or just staying in with Mimikyu to try and burn this Grim. We are going to see if, oh, that is something I actually did not account for. That is a, a very good option, right? Because now you can self scary face. Oh, that's bad. You self scary face uh, to be slower than me and you have a max geyser. That was a very good adjustment. Um, scary face comes out. We should hopefully take a hit. Come on, Necrozma. If, if we take the hit, we're in good shape because we can switch out in the Torkoal. Um, and Torkoal obviously is big here. Oh, and we're, oh, oh, sick. We're faster. Perfect. That's huge. Um, into Kyogre. Good chip. I'll actually take that any day of the week. Uh, this gets us to plus one. Rockfall would have been nice here, but um, it is what it is. We will see the Geyser come out. This should go into uh, Necrozma. Yep. We take that super, super well. This gives us a free switch in into Torkoal, as well as a secondary max quake into this Kyogre. And from there, right, we put on pressure onto Grimmsnarl. So the thing though is Trick Room is gonna be really big here, but changing the weather significantly going to reduce the amount of damage you're doing. We also are hopefully still going to be faster. And then um, we do have the ability to protect with Torkoal to try it. Yeah, we're gonna see the second scary face. It makes sense, right? You're gonna um, go for a geyser again. Yep, geyser, <clears throat> super weakened as a result of this. Into Torkoal, good read. Whole critical hit, that's a huge deal. 
Is that not even a crit? Wait, that was that? Yo, that's a that is a huge, huge deal. Um, that is a very, very big deal. We bring out Palkia here. We steal Spike Grim. Yeah, we can bring up Palkia. Palkia just has to worry about Max Lightning. We can, um, we can take advantage of the fact that we are very healthy with Necrozma. That's very bad. Um, we <sighs> Spatial Ren Kyogre for the KO. We steal Spike Grim. We can then we do have Protect the subsequent turn if need be. Light Screen can come out. That's fine. We do have the chance to, to crit. So this is a, a really good adjustment. We are going to see the geyser come out. This should be into uh, Necrozma. Yeah. Not taking it as well as I would have liked, in all honesty. I really would have liked some more help. Uh, Steel Spike still gets the KO. So that's, that's actually really good to know, uh, especially for a game three. So figuring out really how to adjust. We could lead uh, Venusaur Palkia. Because my opponent is bringing, yeah, because my opponent is bringing uh, Kyogre every time. So having that immediate pressure is, is super huge. And so now the question is, what do you have in the back? And can we get there with what we have? Palkia does have the rain, so that's really big. Um, Tartanator, Tartanator has wide guard. Okay, so we're going to see Zapdos in the back, um, back with Zacian. Hurt and... Um, Okay, so you're in the back. Um, let's see how many turns of Trick Room are left. That's important. Please don't be one. It's one turn. <laughs> Hydro Pump here and Sun Steel Strike here. It's not very effective. I do expect just a double protect. Yeah, it should be a protect here and a protect on. Um, Zashian as well. Yeah, it, it's fine. We then... Is it still raining? So the question now... The question now is I have to make a read. Do I think... I'm going to say you're going to double up Necrozma. Right, you have to target me down because the obvious play is protect. The obvious, the obvious play is protect. Sacred Sword into Necrozma. We should live. We do not live. Um, that is bad. Zapdos gonna hit me with a Thunderbolt. Uh, does Palkia? It's a bit. Oh, that's a big paralysis. Um, oh, oh, that's so bad. Mimikyu lost his disguise. So we are, it looks like, unfortunately, definitely going to game three. Um, yeah, because you hydro pump here and we just go for a will o -Wisp. We're not going to get it. You should very easily behemoth blade into Mimikyu. Yeah, that's going to bring us into game three. So that paralysis is definitely a little unfortunate, right? We, I mean, we still have to hit Hydro Pump, so um, can't really say too, too much about that. So good, definitely a good game to my opponent. Um, I think, what, an adjustment we can make is bring Kyogre? I mean, not Kyogre, to bring um, Venusaur. Play with the same rules. Venu Palkia. I think Venu Palkia. Let's see. What was what was the lead last time? It was Grim. It was Grim with Kyogre. So I think we should do. Um, Venu Palkia with Necrozma. Venusaur. Palkia. 
Prasma. Torval. Yeah. This covers Kyogre very well. Right? It says, hey, if you want to bring Kyogre, we can just immediately ignore that. Not ignore it, but having the, I think having the pressure of constant damage from Vine Lash is going to be really big. We do have to worry about Grim though. Grim, Grim just puts on a ton of pressure because of the fact that it has Scary Face and that completely, basically like linchpins my options with Zacian. Um, so let's see. I do expect, okay, Grim's Aptos. Lead of Grim, Grim lead with uh Zapdos. okay so what not what i wanted Zapdos is life orb so what we we do mm, i don't that was a good adjustment for sure um We can bring out Necrozma here, right? Necrozma. We do have to worry about uh, heat, uh, Max Flare. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping for Max Airstream, right? Like you're not gonna Max Flare. I mean, you could. It gives me the the speed advantage, and you know that I'm um, Focus Edge. So I say you're gonna Airstream, which would be really, really nice. As we see, okay, no max come out. Perfect. Scary face into um, Necrozma. Yes, okay, into Necrozma. Awesome. Heat wave. Um, they are going to miss a little unfortunate, but you did paralyze me, so I don't feel that bad. We will fire off a huge uh, max geyser into you, which is a really big deal, right? Just this should be a KO. Perfect. Zapdos gone right off the bat. Worst case, I mean, you would have just procced the policy. Um, so now it should be Zacian and Kyogre in the back. Zacian and Kyogre. So I would bring out Kyogre here. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna see Kyogre. Um, I... I'm gonna go for Trick Room and I would like to Quake into Kyogre. Worst case, what? We if we lose, if we lose, um, if we lose Necrozma, that's fine, because we have Venusaur with Sash, so that means that we have a Leaf Storm. We do have a Leaf Storm into Kite, so that that definitely is going to um, help us out. Sorry, I need to, to take a sec. Um, Palkia, I think, is in a good position right now. We still have Torkoal. We will see the light screen come out. Light screen, not ideal, but also we saw how much it did last time. So we will see a hailstorm. Interesting. So calling calling the switch, I think. Um, I don't know what you were going for there. Interesting. But that does mean we do get to fire off a quake onto Kyogre. Uh, oh. That is, cool. Oh, that is damage. All right, we will, interesting. Um, we do get the special defense boost. I, yeah, I'm gonna Sunsteel Strike into the Grimmsnarl, just trying to get a KO there and stop it from, uh, what's it called? Stop it from chipping away and making that Kyogre slow. We do know Necrozma will out, outspeed Kyogre even after one drop. So what we can do is we can fire off a Sunsteel Strike here, um, as well as a... Let's Warm Wind into Kyogre, only just because of the fact that uh, after a Scary Face, you will outspeed my uh, Palkia. So going for a Quake. I mean, Quake doesn't really matter. I, I mean, I'm at plus one, so I should be able to take a Geyser from this... Um, Okay, oh, and perfect. You're going just straight for a Reflect, which is great for us. Um, if Sunsteel Strike picks up the KO, that puts us in 
a fantastic position. We still have to figure out how to beat Kyogre, but we do have Venusaur, so I'm not... Oh, that's so bad. Uh, no, you go down the hill. You go down the hill. Perfect. We will fire off a Warm Wind into Kyogre. Um, good chip. I would have... What's nice, though, what's nice, what's fine is you're not doing too, too much to me. And once your max is over, I have um, Spatial Rend. As Geyser comes out, this should go into Necrozma, right? Into... Oh, that's bad. That's actually very bad. Because um, now what happens is you are... Uh, we can... Uh, sun yeah, Sun Steel Strike into Grim and Spatial Rend into Kyogre. This is going to be close because their Trick Room turns are really, really important right now. Um, if we can get a KO, if we what? If we Spatial Rend is nice. Oh, okay. Oh, you went for a Spirit Break. Interesting. Okay, so if we get the KO onto um, Grim Snarl which is huge. We get to fire off um, a special rend. High chance of critical hit. That is not a critical hit, unfortunately. And Kyogre, max lightning. This should be into, yep, into Palkia. Palkia survives. We have another chance. So what I'm thinking now is you... You should, okay. This is fine, right? You are no longer able to change the weather. We stall out our Trick Room for Torkoal Venusaur to have Venusaur KO Palkia, and then Torkoal can beat Zacian, and we have Venusaur as well to deal with Zacian. So we have that advantage going for us. Um, how many turns of Trick Room are left? There's two turns of Trick Room. So I am going to Earthquake and uh, go for a Protect. Just trying to get as much damage on as possible. Um, we do have to deal with a Reflect, but like I said, because of the fact that we do still have Torkoal Venu in the back, feeling really confident, even if we sacrifice uh, both of our things here. The risk... What is the risk? The issue would be losing... No, I was going to say losing Torkoal, or losing something here, because that forces Torkoal out, but Torkoal can then just protect. Um, we will see no protects from my opponent, which is nice, as... We can fire off an Earthquake. Does a, a good chunk into Zacian and a good chunk into um, them. We should live that. Yep, we are going to live. And Kyogre is going to lock itself into Ice Beam, which is perfect here. As now what we can do is um, we can Sunsteel Strike into Kyogre and go for an Earth Power into Zacian. I am f I'm actually pretty fine losing everything here. Because like I said, what it does is that lets me bring out uh, Venicole. Oh, wait, what? what am I talking? Kyogre can't protect. I don't know why I didn't. Okay, so that was silly of me. Um, we know Kyogre is scarfed. And yet, and yet, we do these silly plays. It's it's still fine. Um, I don't think I KO from this point. Uh, Kyogre, please go down. Okay, yeah, uh, Kyogre goes down. So at this point, we um, should be able to just fire off big damage onto, um, yeah, we can just go for another Trick Room as well as an Earth Power onto Zacian. If you KO me, then I get to bring out um, Torkoal. Torkoal can ju just handle it from there. Venusaur has a Focus Sash. So overall, um, a really good spot. So definitely, definitely a very tricky set. I think... Luck played a little bit of a role. Um, yeah, I mean, Necrozma, Necrozma would have gone down last turn, but I don't think that that uh, really mattered in the end because of the fact that we still have Torkoal and we still have Venusaur. So still in a good position. You are going to live, unfortunately, but um, yeah, the rain's going to stop. We can bring out Venusaur to be flashy. Let's just bring out Torkoal. Torkoal definitely survives anything that Zashin wants to throw at it. And then, um, yeah, it's only single target, so uh, pretty easy for us just to go for an Earth Power as well. Yeah, we can just double Earth Power. Uh, we click 
Earth Power, as well as Earth Power. So definitely a tricky set. Uh, I think being able to set up turn one was very beneficial, right? Just leading with Palkia and saying, hey, we're going to immediately put on pressure and we're going to KO that Zapdos. I think Zapdos definitely was a threat and um, just letting it, getting rid of it so quickly, just it really put me in that advantageous position. It meant I had to commit a little early, but it was really the only thing that scared Palkia. And once it was gone, right, like Palkia, as we've seen, just this is the last turn of the game and it finally, finally went down. So overall, um, this is a, a very new style for me and I'm really happy with how it, it has turned out. And yeah, we're hopefully going to get some more with this team. And with that, uh, until next time, I hope all of you are wonderful and I'll see you then.